Fantastic. He was waiting on my calls here. There he is. You get Erico? Yeah, just hold on a second. All right. Did y'all want me to start the stage while you're getting ready? Yeah, I'm just, I was just sending it in uh, a thing to make sure we got everyone in here that we needed to have in here in the planning thread. But anyway, hello, 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 everyone. How are we all doing tonight? Yeah, all right. Yeah, like you started to uh, start up the stream. Yeah, for sure. All right. We're going to go live now. Righty. All right. Hello. Hello. <sighs> We're just waiting on one more person. No problem. Hello, hello. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got you. Sorry. You're good, you're good. Unforgivable. Oh, man. All right. I think we got everyone in here. Just uh, let me know when everything's all good on your end, uh, Chris. We are good. You're good. All right. Well... Welcome in, everyone. Uh, I am Diet Dr. Kelp, one of your hosts for this lovely panel, as well as uh, Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello, everyone. And we are here for the Project Shadow fan film Q&A. Uh, if our guests would like to introduce themselves one by one, feel free to go ahead. Let's see, um, I guess I'll start. Um, my name is, well, my, my actual name is Giovanni Salazar. But you probably know me as a random goon. Um, I am the vo English voice of Shadow in Project Shadow. Um, I've been in the voiceover scene for about two years now, but mostly like through meme posts and everything like that. But uh, now I'm in a pseudo professional role, and that's very cool. Um, thank you, Felipe, for trusting me with your vision. I genuinely didn't think I'd be a good Shadow, but he saw the vision, and we we made it work. Oh man. Thank you for, for trusting the project and also join it. Uh, I, I'm, it let me also introduce myself. I'm João Felipe Santiago, uh, the director, the creator of Project Shadow. And I thank you so much for having me here tonight. Uh, as I mentioned before, my English is not perfect. So <laughs> I apologize for any, any troubles, any misspelling something, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Mike Pollock. I'm an actor. <laughs> I'm in this uh, thing. I'm the voiceover in the little commercial. And I have an irrational hatred of Discord, but that's a discussion for another time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're just going to get started uh, with just a few questions uh, off the top from uh, just, just me and, and Chris and, and Kevin. We'll each ask a question and then we'll kind of get rolling into audience uh, if that works with you guys. So, uh, Chris, you will have a you know, question you want to ask? Yep. I'll start with the big thing that I know a lot of people are wondering. What inspired you to create the fan film Project Shadow? Well, uh, uh, someday, uh, actually, first, let's start from the beginning. Levi Nunes. Levi uh, is the, the leader from, the, also the creator from, of Fresh Films, which is a recording studio, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, he has a lot of equipment, cameras, professional cam cameras, lightning, all the stuff. Uh, as I mentioned, a recording studio, a studio professional recording studio. And we're childhood friends, you know, we study together uh, and someday we were talking about uh, creating something together, you know, to uh, put our skills to work, uh, both the, uh, his skills uh, with recording, camera, all the stuff, and mine with writing, directing, and CGI. And yeah, this, this was basically... 2021 2022 something about about this time you know and uh i i came up with the idea of project shadow because uh we can we could do it with few actors physically uh, physically there you know and a lot of cgi uh, involved in this and it, it will be the perfect project to to test our skills and to show the world what we are capable of. And um, uh, as a huge fan of Shadow, I, I wrote it down and that, that was basically it. Uh, I started to uh, work on this, you know, uh, early 2021, 20, 22, uh, basically this. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Some great ideas can come from just a single, single moment. 
yeah yeah just a just a chat you know between friends and we're like absolutely yeah, let's do something together and yeah let's do project shadow <laughs> absolutely absolutely uh kevin do you have a question i can hear you kevin did you say something uh yeah, no I, I guess kevin didn't say anything um all right well, anyway, uh, I'll ask a question. So, um, what what was some of the challenges that you faced with the filming of Project Shadow, whether it be some of the live action filming or uh, in the voiceover or the CGI? All right, the 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 whole project, you know, uh, you mean? Yeah, just just overall, mm -hmm. what were some of the challenges uh, you faced with it? Uh, first. It was challenging to fight the actors, the live action actors, uh, because when we, we, we uh, looked for the voice actors, both for the original Portuguese and for the English version, we already have uh, had something going on, you know, so I already had the shadow uh, 3D model and all this stuff, and I, I had something to show to the people, you know, so this is the project, this is what we're working with. So people had some ideas of what's happening, but to find the, the two live action actors was really good because we live, uh, we recorded it in Fira de Santana, which is a city in Bahia, uh, which is a state in Brazil. And it's, a, uh, it's not a, a great city in terms of movies, you know? Uh, so it's it's a little bit harder to find actors there. So this is one of the challenge, uh, the casting, and basically there was I guess it was the most difficult part. But after we we found we found someone, uh, both Maria and Jared, which is Ayala and Adriano, uh, everything was easier from now from there on. You know uh, the CGI uh, I, I did. I'll, I'll say maybe 75 or to 80% of it. I did by myself. Uh, I have help with uh, chroma key, the rotoscoping, and some animations, uh, which, which was done by Cam the Can and Misty. But yeah, uh, all of this part of CGI, uh, the CGI, directing the actors, or working on all of this was uh, easier, you know? Uh, really really natural progression and i like to say too that the budget you know <laughs> 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 random google knows uh, when when, yes. we, uh, when we were interviewing the the possible cast members i always mention it let's go to the bad part which is budget you know <laughs> our budget is limited because yeah project shadow uh, I, I had no guarantee and i still have not Guaranteed to get any profit from Project Shadow. You know, it's a fan film. Uh, it's on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of uh, risk, risks uh, about uh, profit on it. Uh, we didn't make any Kickstarter, any sort of donation. So all of the project was paid by myself. So we have really a limited budget. And that was, I guess, the... the most difficult part was to work with the budget because it limits a lot of stuff. The from the story, uh, from the casting, from the uh, CGI, everything. But thank God, it all it all worked. You know, yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Well, it worked pretty well. I'd say the analytics yeah. speak for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Uh, so we're just with, with that, we're just going to get into uh, audience questions. So if you have a question for uh, the cast and crew of Project Shadow, feel free to raise your hands now. We'll call you up one at a time. Please only ask one question and please keep it focused to the topic of the panel, that being Project Shadow. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, uh, I will go ahead and call on the first person. Let's go with see here tails co come on up come on up hello hello come on up <laughs> tails go here we go you're muted by the way uh, wow, you discord everyone <laughs> 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 
I do have a question about Project Shadow. How did Shadow get his um air shoes? Uh, what I, I didn't hear. It. Uh, can you say it again, please? How did Shadow get his air big, shoes? Yeah. How yeah, did Shadow it, get his air shoes? Yeah, it, it was uh, on the the short film, but yeah, basically the idea there it was that Maria and Jared uh, developed it, uh, the air shoes for him, you know. And during the the short film, we have yeah. this scene where which Jared presents it to to Shadow, and Mike Pollock is there voicing the English uh, version of the narrator. Also, in the original, uh, the original version in Portuguese, uh, with the the voice actor that voices the commercial, the the the, the narrator of the commercial is Tata Guarnieri, which is the Brazilian voice of Jim Carrey's Robotnik. So we got Wait, two really? of yeah, yeah. Oh my oh, god, so got, I didn't even know that. Oh my goodness, yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is the so yeah. And we got two official uh, Robotnik's there uh, to make this reference. You know this little cameo. It was amazing to work with Mike. Uh, really, really great to to have him on the team to have uh, to know that he trusted this project. And we're now working on the Spanish version of it and searching for the perfect voice actor to live up to these two legends, which is Mike Pollock and Tata Guarnieri. You know. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely, that's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty that cool. Is, that is really that. cool wow. that you managed to get. Uh, <laughs> that you managed to get like t you managed to get two of the official voice actors involved in in that and in that same role as well. And that's just incredible. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. uh, huge thanks to Bruno San Gregorio, which is oh, the Bruno. Uh, yeah, yeah. The also the original voice of uh, Shadow in Project Shadow. But uh, he was the one that helped me with the original uh, casting of voice actors, you know. So he reached out to Tata Guarnieri because the, their friends, you know, uh, Bruno San Gregorio is a, a huge uh, voice actor here in Brazil. He voiced uh, Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan here. Mm -hmm. So he has a lot of great network, you know, so he made it all work. So thanks to him, we had T Tata Guarnieri and yeah, Tata Guarnieri and Mike Pollock, two official Robotniks in Project Shadow. <laughs> That's Very awesome. cool. Well, thank you for the question, Tails Co. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Tails Co. <laughs> All right. Did I hear a hint of your shadow voice there? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have a cold or something. My bad. <laughs> I know you're pain. I've got to stick myself. All right. Uh, Chris, you want to go ahead and call someone up? Sure. Hmm. Let's bring up MC voices. All right. MC, come on up. You're muted, by the way. Yes, your MC? mic is mute. Sorry about that. Oh, there hey there. Hey Hello. there. So anyway, what? this is my question. What was probably the biggest challenge for you in in converting Shadow's powers into the movie universe? Good question. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably say that my job was way easier because I, I know uh, a lot of people uh, liked it, and a lot of people say that uh, I'm scared that uh, Sonic Movie Three will have to make up to this, but bro. Trust me, it, they will do it way better than I did, you know. But for me, it, it was uh, easier to make this project and uh, this all the the adaptation the adaptation of the his powers because I didn't have uh, restrictions, you know. Uh, Why Paramount will have their own restric restrictions when adapting his powers. So it, it was one of the few things that was easier for me to do instead. <laughs> Compared to Paramount, but the most challenge uh, part of it was to basically nerf Shadow, you know, <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, uh, it, to to get get get, uh, get the idea of the Inhipto rings and making him weak enough to uh, not be able to overcome the the gun soldiers. That was the most difficult part because. I, I also would uh, like uh, like it to make him too powerful, you know. 
So I, I didn't want to make him weak from the beginning, you know. I wanted to set him as a one of the most powerful creatures of the universe. But at the same time, this create this problem of having to nerf him so we can get the, the ending that everyone was waiting to, for, the wish, uh, which is the Maria events, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Don't I really like how... thank, thank you so much for the question. Uh, by the way, sorry. Yeah, I really <laughs> like how <laughs> how his powers were translated into the movie universe. I thought that was perfect. And yeah, it's great yeah. to meet you, Joe. And it's great to meet you, Random Goon. And it's great to see you again, Mike Pollock. After seeing you at the expo. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Yeah, no thank problem. Thank you so dude. much. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, let me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, yes. Uh, you tr- you told me about the the visuals, uh, the adaptation uh, visually of the powers. Uh, I'd like to make the to tell you about the the proce- uh, proce- process to get to the chaos control visuals, which is the idea is that somehow uh, visually to translate that shadow got the power from the master emerald, you know. So when he is inside the chaos control, all the the visuals are based on the uh, master emerald emerald from the movie. So yeah, that's the when when he came out, you know, when he came from, basically. Fascinating. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Great. Awesome. Anyway, thanks yeah. again for answering my question. It's good to see you all, and it's great to see you too, Kelp and Chris. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you, MC. So much. Likewise. All right. Yeah, I got to I got to say, um, that was the one thing that, like, looking every time I watched the the short, because I watched it at least, I'm. A hundred thousand times, right? Um, <laughs> when I remember, like when we we did the um, the like the, the cast reaction, Felipe, when he did mm-hmm. chaos control, I lost my mind. <laughs> because, and it, it was just so cool seeing him navigate through. I'm like, this makes so much sense. Like, why didn't I think of how this how it, this is what it would look like for him for the yeah. first time? Like, I just it's so good. <laughs> So smart. That's all I gotta say. It's just so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, one of the reference too was the I, I don't know w- which is his name in English, but from Dragon Ball Super Heat, you know? Yeah. Uh, right. so yeah. That he was one of the inspirations when he do the the time the time frame something the like it, time stop. It was the you, time skip. Yeah, time time you skip. were you were yeah, very you right. were very cultured. Very very nice. I like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. All righty then. Well, we've got a text question here from Cookie Star. She says, Hello. "Hi, big fan of your project Shadow fan film. I'm the person who did the 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 that redraw, by the way, or something. Like, I don't know if I read that right. Anyways, as for my question, what was your most favorite part to work on the project? Also, this is the best early birthday gift I could ever ask for. Thanks for being here." <laughs> Oh, happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I, uh, did you mean that this, this question was for Mike? Sorry, I, I uh, no, it. it was, it was a question for you, I believe. Yeah, so it, it, for can you say it again, please? Yeah, it's, um, f- uh, for my question, what was your most favorite part to work on on the project? All right, all right. <laughs> uh, let, uh, this time I'll, I'll get it right. First of all, thank you for your question. <laughs> and let me see, man. Uh, that's that's a, a tough one, cause uh, man, the 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 whole journey for it it was like amazing, you know. If we're talking about a specific scene, uh, probably the chaos control scenes, you know, or uh, the the fight scene, the 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 fight sequence in the corridor. Uh, yeah. of chaos control, chaos control, and also the first time he uses chaos control. That's, I guess, I had the most fun doing the uh, the CGI of these parts and writing that that part there, you know. But if we're talking about the process, the production, probably to work with that much people, you know. And that much top tier people, you know, <laughs> that, uh, I, I, I'm used to make videos by myself, you know, on YouTube and all this stuff. And usually I, I do it all alone, you know, so uh, uh, something uh, like 
it's really uh, it was really fun to me to have then much people working uh, with the project. So and also to meet them. Um, yeah, I guess this this was my favorite part to meet and work with so much people, so much top tier artists from animators to voice actors, you know, from like the whole crew. That, that was my favorite part of the journey. <laughs> nice. All right. I guess kind of by extension, I'd also like to extend the question uh, to, to you, uh, Random Goon and Mike. Uh, what, what were yeah. some of your favorite parts for working on it? Um, let's see. The scene. Oh, there's so many. Um, I think my personal favorite scene, just, just in general, is when they're going, or Professor Gerald and Maria are talking about Shadow's evolution. And then he wakes up in the in in the middle of the night, and he's unconsciously like teleporting. Uh, I remember recording that; it was a lot of fun, just feeling like all distorted, all like "Oh my god, what's happening?" kind of thing. But <laughs> what, my, the, my other favorite part is obviously the chaos control for the first time, because it was a really good representation of how it should have been the first time he does it. Like that, that just makes sense to me. You know, time just stops for him and he's able to move freely i think that was a really cool representation of it he's very scared um very nervous as most people would be in that situation um Mm -hmm. and i also like at the end felipe this blew my mind right so there's two scenes Mm -hmm. one where he's catching every single bullet thrown at him with (laughs) one hand i if if you go back and watch his uh reaction the cast reaction i was losing my mind like I was yeah. screaming profusely in the mic. Like I was, it was insane. Cause I even, I didn't know about that. I had no idea that scene was coming. Um, yeah. And then the other one was uh, towards the end before he passes out for the last time he teleports. And there's like a flurry of punches on the one gun soldier. It's just, I was, it was so surreal. It was like a dragon ball fight. It was so cool. Like <laughs> I, was, I was like, Oh yeah. yeah. Sonic is also dragon ball. I understand. Yes. Yes. But yeah, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Ball. That's I I I, I guess you noticed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but those those are my favorite, and of course, recording the final scene where you know Shadow you know gets his will is being placed in the pod to go to Earth. It was. I remember we're in the booth trying to get that scene right, and it's like, okay, just imagine the saddest thing ever. I'm like, okay, I got it, and then we got the final product, and it was. <laughs> it, it, was, it was fun. It was the whole thing was fun, but those are my favorite parts personally. <laughs> and I only really had one part, and it was my favorite. But I enjoyed the professional way the the session was handled. Um, language barrier sessions are always a fun challenge, and Felipe was an excellent facilitator in making sure that the uh, Portuguese speakers knew what the English speaker were talking about, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you so much, oh. Mike. Uh, it was like really a dream come true to to work with you on this project, man. Really, really, really. Oh. really. I, I I still can't believe. You know? <laughs> yeah. For real. Like, uh, yeah, when like we much. when we were recording uh, the first time, right? The the original uh, voices for the project Shadow. Uh, man, my 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 face was hurting because i was smiling at the whole time you know <laughs> <laughs> the whole process i was like just smiling i i, I couldn't even handle it and th- the english version too was this way you know so yeah and yeah. especially especially to have a, a childhood hero you know <laughs> actually mm-hmm. a childhood vil- vil- villain villain sorry <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's a hero in our hearts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the question, Cookie. Um, uh, Chris, you want to call on the next person? Yep. And let me bring up Unitatal Productions. Come to the stage. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi. What's going on? Hello. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. I, I, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm go. just. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's good? Oh my god. 
I, I'm doing. I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hang on. Let me, let me get my question ready. Um, no problem. Okay. Um, so uh, this goes for like all of you guys or any of you. Um, essentially, just like a how do you you feel about the support that the fans have given the project, like the fan art, the praise, and the, all, the inspiration that you gave that you gave them all and everything. Oh boy! <laughs> um, that as one of those fans. <laughs> I, it, it, let me. I, I kind of want to answer first, if that's okay. Of course, um, of course. Man. Let me tell you something. That night was so surreal. Um, that whole day, because um, I I knew the project was going to be big, just off rip when I saw the teaser on TikTok. Because when I saw the teaser, Felipe knows this, and I told him this during our interview. Um, I was like. The right, it's just right off the heels of Sonic 2, where Shadow got teased. So I'm like, oh my god, Paramount is actually showing him already? No way. <laughs> and then I, I found out that it was, a, it was a fan project. But even then, I didn't care. I was like, this looks so good. I want this to succeed. Um, and then in September, we got a little casting call. And it's cool because I almost didn't audition. I was this close to not doing it because I was lazy. And oh, lo and behold, I just, I was like, you know what? Let me go back. I saw it. I was like, I'll just do the audition. Why not? And then Felipe hit me up. We did the interview. He liked what he heard. I got an email saying you are you were, you were chosen for the role of Shadow in Project Shadow. I was in disbelief. I had to message you directly, Felipe, because I just didn't believe you. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not Shadow. No, I'm not. Like, there's no way. And, it, and he was like, no, you're you're Shadow. Like in Project Shadow, I was like. What? <laughs> and I, and I, I, I cried that night out of, out of happiness. It was really cool because Shadow, Sonic Adventure 2 is the first 3D Sonic game that I beat, like by myself. And as, you know, as a kid, you know, you ask for your big brother to help you and stuff like that. But no, it was the first time I actually beat it. So to like play that character that debuted in that game and amass this big following was insane to me. Like I just, I couldn't believe it. So, Fast forward to the day Project Shadow dropped. That day, we had so much fan art and like love and praise from the project. Like Felipe, we went, we were trending on Twitter, no, with Project yeah, Shadow. Uh, we we trended uh, actually. I guess what two days, two days. Yeah, we were but, trending for yeah. like two days in a row. It was insane. It was like crazy. Everybody was talking about it. I could not believe it. Like. People with eight million subscribers, people that I had never even heard about, like in, in the million subscriber range, were reviewing it. TikTok was all over it, like it was insane. And just seeing yeah, the fan art, TikTok also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just seeing the fan art also, like, legitimately brought tears to my eyes because I'm like, wow, this is bigger than I thought it was. This is bigger than me. Like, it's <laughs> to to see how much how how much it did for a lot of people, where even people were. Not in, we're unintentionally being gaslit by Felipe because they thought that it was the it was actually Sonic Three, like it was a prologue for Sonic Three. People, everyone thought it was official, and <laughs> even to this day, they're like, "No, this is pretty much official now." At this point, now that Sonic Three is coming out, this is basically a prologue to Sonic Three. Uh, oh, Paramount, yeah. I'm not actually saying that. This is what the people are saying. Please, <laughs> um, but no, dude, it was. It, it's still surreal. Like, shout outs to uh, Daz. This is an artist on Twitter. Goes by Dragon Arts with two Zs. You guys should go follow them because they, that day, they dropped a really, really sick fan art of that final scene where Shadow is crying in the pod. And that is my favorite. Uh, fan art that I've that I've seen so far. I, I love them all, but really? that was the one where I was like, "Wow, this is really, really good." Like, um, if 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 uh, if I can, I'll probably po post the picture in the chat or something. But just seeing everyone's reception of it, like, I I just went, I just went and saw um, us trending for a while, and I was like, "This, this is," I I, I couldn't believe it. it I, I couldn't believe it. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, Dragon Arts, there he is. That's one. I like that one a lot. That one's cool. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, 
Yeah, that that's oh my god, that's really good. You really got the uh, emotion down. I like that a lot. Well, thank wow. you. <laughs> Top tier. <laughs> but no, it, it it it's just it's just cool. Like the, what, the, I don't, words can't like really express how cool this is. I'm just glad everyone likes it. That's all. I'm glad people like my shadow voice because the whole time I was. I had a huge case of imposter syndrome. I didn't think I was good enough for the role and everyone loved it. So I was like, you know what? Cool. I'm, I'm happy. If you like it, I like it. Cool. Thank you. Well, uh, actually, yeah, I've already told random Goo about this, but yeah, I follow it him before he auditioned and before he auditioned, uh, actually before we opened the possibilities to people to uh, send the entries for the project, uh, I was he was in some of the lists of people that I would uh, email or try to reach out for being shadow, you know. <laughs> so it, when he when he uh, sent the entry, sent uh, the audition for the the voice project for the the English dub, man. It was amazing. Uh, it was really great to have uh, Goon on the team. And yeah, about the, the, the question, about the question. Thank, 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 you. thank you so much for it. But mm-hmm. well, man, I, I was about to, uh, to say uh, when I saw this, uh, the art, artwork here uh, that Kuki Star just posted on the chat. I, I mm-hmm. was like, I, I was about to, to say it. Man, the fan art about this is crazy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Every single one, like, I, I can't even choose my, my favorite one, for real. Like, uh, the, the drawings, the edits, you know, the reactions, everything is awesome, you know? Like, uh, I really didn't expect it that much uh, support, you know, from, from the public, you know? I really, really don't. So. Man, it's like uh, mind blowing, you know that. That's how I would define it: mind blowing. The the, yeah. the reception of it. Very very surreal. Absolutely. Um, yeah. there, there was another thing that came out of this, which was the, what I'm about to say. Just it doesn't feel real. So Ian Hanlon, if a lot of you know, if people know who this guy is, he is yeah. the. He is the voice actor, English voice actor for Shadow and Sonic Prime. Yeah, and I can remember. For that <laughs> and when the teaser the, tra- the english trailer dropped for project shadow ian commented on it when i shared it he said your shadow voice is really good and then he followed me and that's when i knew there was no need to doubt anymore also i was like once yeah. if ian if ian said he liked it i was like all right there, i don't have to question it anymore because i think ian is one of the best shadow yeah. voices Worry, like he's, a, he's just so different and uh, he makes it his own and to garner that praise from him chef's kiss you know <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah actually about oh sorry <laughs> See, go ahead. uh about this uh the ian haley uh reaction man let me talk about pat casey the one of the writers of uh sonic movies yes man. yes <laughs> Oh my uh, God. Man, when, when one of the first teasers uh, dropped on YouTube, he start, he started to to follow me on Instagram, and I was like, "Wait a sec, who is this guy? <laughs> like, is this a fan account or something like this?" And I yeah. was like, "All right, let let let, uh, let it go. All right, maybe it's him, maybe it's not. All right, <laughs> maybe it's uh, uh you know this this fake account stuff." But afterwards, uh, when the when the project released, uh, I was like, "Man, I, I need to check if that's really him." You know, <laughs> yeah. so I, I messaged him. Him, uh, oh yeah, we made this uh, project shadow stuff. I noticed that you you'll be following for well, like most in uh, for some months, and I'd like to know your your reaction of it, your your impression of it. And he he answered me, and I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> he did re- answer me, like, and I, and he told me that yeah, I'll be watching it uh, this afternoon. And man, I told uh, Goon at uh, that that moment, and me and Goon was like, 
freaking out, man. One of the writers we watched it, you know, like me, it's someone from the original material, you know, Project Shadows is inspired in the Sonic movies, and someone from the Sonic movies saw it, watched it, and, and yeah. more, more than that, he loved it. And out, man. He that was a very a surreal experience. It was yeah. Crazy. It was That's crazy, awesome. man. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. To, to, when, when you told me that, when you told me Pat Casey, one of the Sonic a movie writers for both movies and the third one coming up, liked it. And I saw his uh, him post about it on Twitter and he told everyone to watch it. I almost passed out. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's insane. It's, so it, it, it's bigger than I ever thought it could be. I knew it was going to be big, but to this level, like, wow, this is yeah, kind yeah. of insane. Absolutely, for real. And yeah, uh, yeah, that's it, basically. Well, thank <laughs> you for still, the question. We're still trying uh, to to reach uh, the other actors and the director of it, but yeah, let's <laughs> let's try to make it. You know, <laughs> maybe they. <laughs> Uh, most more of them will see it, but yeah, it, yeah. it was amazing. Uh, this is my, I, I guess, this is my favorite uh, fan art of the Florida, you know, I guess, because man, it, it's awesome to see how yeah. people in, uh, translate it. Oh. And, and, yeah, and, I remember this how, one. Yeah, and how people like so uh, fan art. really got the idea of the rings uh, sparkling, the mm -hmm. aura, and all this stuff, man, that uh, is crazy, you know? really crazy. All right. Well, thank you for the question, Uni. Oh wait, Mike didn't did it answer. I didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, do you have something to add? Um, the fan love was incredible. I'm. I never know in any project what people are going to think of it. I hope for the best, and I hope that it's not ignored. This was certainly not ignored. Lots of people were. Um, enjoying it surprised to see i was a part of it and had uh, questions and i provided answers so <laughs> great fun and great fun to see the reaction yeah oh, yeah because awesome. no, awesome. like one because like it really made my day the moment that like i saw a premiere and everything and not only that like after like after i finished watching it as well like not only what did I not only was like I was filled with the feels and everything, but also it gave me so much inspiration for my own project. And it's just like what and again and before, like I'm sorry if I'm taking up a lot of time. I just want to say thank you for making this. Like <laughs> no, thank you for making so this cool. film. Like sure. Yeah, of course. It's, it's a big inspiration for me. So it's like <laughs> thank you. That's uh, <laughs> Mr. So Felipe is doing without him, you know, this wouldn't be possible. No oh, man, don't mm -hmm. don't say it. it, it without any of yeah, the people that work, it wouldn't be possible. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just one one of the cast members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, thanks to everyone. Like, like, every, like everyone did amazing. So. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for the question. You have a wonderful thank rest you. of your night. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Yeah, for it. You guys take care. Thank you. And thank you so much. Thank you. You too. T Y T Y. Thank you. All right, uh, Chris. I believe you picked you picked that one, right? Yep. Yeah, I did. All right. I will go ahead and call on someone here. Let's go with. Um, let's see here. Can I show? Can I show uh, other of my uh, favorite fan art of projects? Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, this one right here. This guy right here. Let me screenshot it. This here. I'm this excited. Fan art, it's like. Yes, Look I remember this, this one. Oh, yes. Cool. yes, these two, these two are my favorite. Like, I, oh. I, I can't decide. You know, I, oh, yeah. there's so oh, a lot of that's other. the thing, right? Yeah. They're all just so good. I can't pick. It's so hard for me. Even with the one that I mentioned that they posted in the chat, also oh, for Dragon Arts, and just even then, I just like everyone's is good. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's super solid. Right. All right, uh, I, will I love everyone's. On, we'll call on. Well, Rosebud, you had your hand up there. I was just about to call on you, so I'll go with Rosebud, nineteen ninety-two. I'm on the stage, Rosebud. Yeah, in the oh, shadow oh. capsule. Yeah, all right, Nathan. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, I'm just a little nervous, but my question is, what is the funniest interactions you had with each other while recording the Project Shadow? I like this question. This is good. I, I didn't. I didn't um, have it. I got the the finished part. 
it was yeah, like the funnest interaction um in project shadow like yeah. um if, if can i feel can i talk about let's get going or let's get moving yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so there the scene where Shadow is testing the uh, for me it was when Shadow is testing out the the air shoots. Um it was really cool to like <laughs> the original plan for that scene was for me to go let's get moving. Like and, and if you ever played I think it was in Sonic Heroes where Shadow he just said the line that's just so out of nowhere. He said, "Let's get moving." Like it's 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 so it, it's so out there. It's like why is he just so extra? I mean, yeah. We we, we, we wanted to put that in the in in that scene, but we went the other direction. I, that was my favorite part, Felipe. We were filming, <laughs> we were doing so many takes for that. It was just so much fun. We were like all of us were laughing in the booth. That was my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was uh, uh, that was from Sonic 06, I believe. Yeah. Oh six, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, do do you mean the interactions between characters or between the cast? I think I think it was uh, between the cast. All right, all right, man. Uh, that's good hard. Question. That's hard. It's a good question. It's a really good question. Like it's a question. really good, really good, really good one. Uh, probably two. Uh, I'll say two. All right. The funniest uh, first when we were recording the original voice for Shadow. The, with Bruno, Bruno, and Bruno yeah, Bruno the Gold. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you say it? burp? Uh, how how do you he say? It? Uh, yeah, yeah, he burped, <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> oh my bad. And I, and, and I at that moment I laughed so much, and I promised him. I I, I told him. I'll put this in the short film. <laughs> and he was like, he, will, he won't, you know. <laughs> he did believe me. And I added <laughs> the, the burp, the chaos burp <laughs> on, the, on the first teaser trailer. <laughs> yeah. And man, we had a lot of fun with that one because it, it, it felt, uh, it, it fits perfect, you know, uh, after Shadow is out uh, of pizza and stuff. He was, like, oh, my bad. <laughs> and man, that, that was amazing. That was really fun. And the second one, like, it was when we were recording with Gong. And <laughs> you know what I, you know what I would say. I think I know what's coming. <laughs> he was like, all right, man, uh, can you give me a, a little minute so I can get in character for this? And I'm like, oh, of course. And take your time. And he was like whispering. Minor spelling mistake. I win. <laughs> Man. And for, when the, for, those who don't know, for those who don't know, it's uh, it's a meme post uh, where yeah, it has it's a meme. super shadow. And it was originally done by a gentleman named uh, Gianni. I forgot yeah. his last name, but he's a really, really good voice actor. And I, I liked how he portrayed the character. So that, that for a while, that was my warm up line where I was like, all right, got to get in character. Minus spelling mistake, <laughs> I win. <laughs> like, and it made him laugh like crazy. It was like, man, we were in the middle of the session. Uh, <laughs> everyone serious, you know, focused. And he was like, let me get in character. Minus spelling mistake, I win. I mean, I couldn't handle it. It was too fun. <laughs> <laughs> I left the whole session for this, you know. <laughs> I think we were laughing for like five minutes, and we had yeah. to like <laughs> we had to like get it, get it together. We were laughing so much. Unforgettable moment. For we didn't have any nerves. I, I wasn't nervous at that point. I was like, all right, I'm 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 ready to go. Like I'm yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the out of me. I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good times. For you, yeah, for you. What about you, Mike? Um. Well, again, I had very limited interaction, but um, the interaction with uh, the two people <laughs> in my recording yeah, session yeah, were fantastic. Yeah, yeah were fantastic. <laughs> we just, it was a very professionally run operation, efficient, just the way I like it, and uh, it was uh, excellent. I was a yeah, big I, fan I, I, of uh, when Felipe had in my, or had everybody speak Brazilian. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we did it with Mike. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I asked Mike, Mike, can you sing something in Portuguese? And he was like, all right, tell me. And yeah, I, I told him to, to send a hug for the Brazilian fans. It was amazing. It was really, really fun. Uh, and to, to see all of you um, Americans and all the stuff, you know, uh, English speakers, 
uh, uh, speaking in Portuguese is, is also always fun uh, for us in Brazil, you know, so it was really great. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. I like that a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, thank oh, you for the question, question. Rose, but... Oh, thanks, thanks for the question, of course. Yeah. Thank you for you, asking the oh, question. Thank you for answering my question. Thank You're you welcome. for asking. Thank you. All right. Okay, can Chris, I make a quick can ahead. I make a quick uh, shout out for uh, uh, a fan art? We were talking about fan art and other stuff, and there's a guy which uh, works in the Project Shadow. You know, he's one of the illustrators, and he he did one uh, amazing fan art of it. Uh, can I can I show it in the the chat? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, this is uh, Gabriel Leao. Uh, a fan oh art my god! Fan I don't think I saw that one. Yeah, that it's was really good. Awesome. Yeah. I love yeah. I love the coloring in the background. Oh my He's, god! Uh, that's that's what I, uh, I was uh, about to say. The, the he he didn't uh, draw it like the copy the, the the exact frame, but he also yeah. added the the, the concept the context of it. You know, so you can actually feel the the emotion of it. And Gabriel yeah. is awesome. You know, Amon Shi, his tweet account. He's yeah. really, really good. He did the Bio Lizard illustration and also the. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also the Echidna in the, the prologue. Uh, yeah. In the, uh, the poster of Bruno in Shadow's Room. Yeah. Yeah. I like that little. <laughs> that little Easter egg there. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, that's Bruno. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's he's, he's canon. He still thinks that doesn't look like him. He thinks that yeah. it looks like Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's Brazilian Chuck Norris, so I'm going to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the fan art is genuinely just uh, that I saw as a result of this was just incredible. Like, there's so mm-hmm. much blowing. If I, if I, if I send like 10% of it, uh, it would, you know, expand the, the whole chat. Because yeah, <laughs> so there's so many amazing artworks. Like yeah, and, and, and the the funniest part of this fan art, uh, thing is that I didn't ask it for it, you know, <laughs> because uh, with the with the I, I released the uh, draw your style challenge uh, mm-hmm. in the first days, uh, in the first teasers actually, and got a lot of uh, support, a lot of fan arts. But that time I asked. But this time uh, it was like gifts, you know. <laughs> so yeah. it, people like saw the the the, the first shadow and thought, I need to make something to support it. I need to show my like how much I like this, you know. So the the fun art, the edits, all the all the everything about it is crazy, crazy, really good. Very, very, very fun stuff. Yeah. All right, Chris, you want to go ahead and call up the next guest? Yes. Let's see. Mm, let's bring up Kevin. Kevin. Hey, how's it going? Love, love the project, by the way. We're very well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Kevin. Thank you. But yeah, I'm very curious. How, how did you get involved, Mike? Because that, that threw me for a surprise when I heard your voice while watching the film. So uh, how, how did you become involved in this project? I was invited, which is the way I get involved in pretty much anything. Um, and I was approached and we did a little negotiation just to make sure that everyone's needs were being met uh, for compensation because I've got to maintain professional standards and made sure that I knew how much uh, work would be involved and and uh, all the various uh, eyes being dotted and t's being crossed and uh we sorted mm-hmm. all that out in advance and uh and felipe uh held up his part of the bargain i held up my part of the bargain and uh it was uh quick and painless and uh properly done <laughs> yeah well, i i loved loved your part and in, in, in the film you did, did a great job thank you you're welcome and thank you for answering my question thanks for asking Agreed. all right uh, <laughs> I guess I will go ahead and call on the next one. Um, let's see. I will go ahead and call on. Let's go with uh, Trey Thornton. Come on up, Trey. Hey, everyone. Hey, what's so, up? Uh, yeah. I want to say congratulations for making this short project about Shadow. It was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. 
Thank you. So my question is, what makes Shadow unique? All right. Um, good question. Good, good question. But man, that's hard to choose uh, a, a, a single thing. It's impossible, you know, <laughs> because uh, several things made him unique, you know, from from beginning, you know, uh, talking about the character uh, as a whole, you know, not only in Project Project Shadow, but uh, from the visuals, from the personality, from the backstory, from the powers, everything in Shadow is really unique, you know, you know, as you can see the inspirations that he he's based on, you know, but he is a, a character for himself, you know, he's not, he's really, really good, you know, uh, that's my favorite character. I guess it's kind of ob obvious <laughs> that he's my favorite character from Sonic movies. But yeah, so, ah, yes. Man, <laughs> Shadow is just, just that good, you know? <laughs> I like to branch off of what you're saying um, real quick. I like how you presented Shadow before all this happened, like all the bad stuff happened to him. And if you really look at the movie, it's like, People forget like he's like Sonic. He there was a time in his life where he was actually like carefree. He was he was a kid like and I really liked how you captured that. And I remember when we were in the booth, you were like, "Okay, this is this is this is a this is for the direction that shadow that you gave me." You're like, "Okay, this is a shadow who hasn't gone through anything yet. He's kind of mm -hmm. like Sonic, so let's keep it like that." So yeah. that's what we did. And I like that because we we all kind of meme on the character. It's like he's an edge lord supreme, but yeah. no, there is there's a reason for stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure yeah. if if we were in his shoes, something we would we would have a chip on our shoulder. You know, but there it's it's cool because it showcases a time where he wasn't like the this quote unquote edge lord with a chip on his shoulder. He was just a regular like he was a kid going through kid things, figuring the world out. Um, and I think that's what makes him unique is the fact that. Yeah, despite all of it, you know, he's still he's still him, which is cool. I don't know. He he's 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 he, I like the layers to him. He's not one sided. He's he's got layers to him. I'm a big fan of that. That that's probably one of the things that I that made me like that character so much when I was a kid watching Sonic X and all this stuff, because he has this background stuff and the, as mentioned by, by Giovanni this uh layers you know so i remember the first time that i almost cried <laughs> uh <laughs> when watching something was at that part which uh in sonic x when shadow and sonic uh beats the the bio lizard you know yeah uh, and prevents the the mm -hmm. space colony to to collide in with earth and shadow uh take off his ring inhibitor ring inhibitor rings and he's like, is that what you wish that Maria, something like this? Yeah. And man, I was a kid uh, and <laughs> I almost it's tried. I, I, like it's, it's that was the first time, you know? <laughs> no, so, it's, yeah. it's heavy stuff because even yeah. back then, from what I understand, that was supposed to be it for Shadow. Like he was supposed to not come back after that. But because he was so yeah. popular, you know how the story goes. They brought him back, this, that, and the third. But no, the reason why that scene hits so hard is because he was not supposed to come back. That was yeah. supposed to be it for him. So and, and, and as soon as he, yeah, keep going. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> so uh, as Go soon ahead, as yeah. he 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 show up in the in the show in Sonic X in, in the game is not in everything. Uh, he becomes the main character, you know. <laughs> Even though Sonic uh -huh. is the, the main character, the most beloved one is Shadow for most of the people. You know? <laughs> A wise man once said, "I'm the coolest," you know. <laughs> <laughs> so he came in and you know he ran the show. All right. But yeah, that, that's 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 how I feel about him. Me too. He's got layers. He's a good boy. Awesome. Thank you, Jerry, for your question. No problem. And your voice, I mean, the voice of Shadow was the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. That <laughs> <laughs> means a lot. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. If it's my turn, what about we bring up Radar? 
radar. No, Come on down. The, the weapon. Like the drop weapon. the weapon. I like it. Give me it right away, radar. Hello. 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 What's up, dude? Hello. Nice to be meeting you all. Likewise. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on the release of the project. I saw that thing blow up. It was insane <laughs> in real time. Uh, yeah. I think I was. I think I was visiting Disneyland that day. What a day! Oh. What a day! <laughs> what I know. Day. My phone was nothing but Shadow and Maria and Gerald and G U N. It was uh, good time. I mean, as a Sonic fan, I couldn't have. I couldn't have it any other way. So that was just you know perfect. Yeah, um, but yeah, it. again, congratulations, you guys. Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank Glad you, so you liked much. it. Uh, I actually just saw that the English dub is almost nearing a million views. We're we're really pushing mm. for it. We're really pushing for it. What really stopped the traction was, unfortunately, you Felipe too, knows too. this, made, yeah. made for kids, limitations, even though there are explicit scenes in the short, but that's okay. We'll, 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 get, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, it, it, we'll yeah. get there. It's okay. <laughs> so everyone's yeah. The pain of modern day YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Mm, but you guys will get there. You guys will definitely get there. I have faith for in you guys. Sure. For sure. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you. It will happen. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh now from my question. Um I think it's I think it's I think it's no surprise that there were some references in this <laughs> project. There was, there were some references. That's <laughs> all that no one touched. There's like one there's there there like one or that that like one actually, or two, I think. <laughs> that is actually where my question lies. It like like there's a whole bunch of prop. There's a whole bunch of like yeah. I'm sure people have caught like different references here and there. There's one that sticks out to me a lot during when Shadow gets uh, the air shoes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where my question lies. Actually, are there still references in the fan project that people haven't spotted out yet? A lot. A lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's. Um, uh, Are you able to just um, share one? Just one. Of course, one. of course, of course. I didn't saw anyone talking about this one, this reference. But when Shadow gets the air shoes, I, I guess you you got this reference because you mentioned it. But I don't know if if you're talking about the same thing. But uh, Maria says, uh, try try it on, Shadow. All right, and then Shadow. Uh, uh, how how can I say it? Uh, put on the the, the air shoes, and the camera uh, does a, a little turn around around him, and he does a, he does a specific pose. You know, this scene, the specific pose, and the camera move, move movement is a reference for for Sonic. I guess it's Sonic Adventure Two when you unlock the air shoes. The game does oh, the same so movement. Oh, the level up yeah. item. Oh, yeah. Let, oh I don't know if I'll find it. it. <laughs> Let, I, I don't know if I'll find it here. If I find, uh, yeah, I found it. Oh I found my it. god! Get, like their special add-ons on yeah. in the game, and, stuff, and you know the camera turns around them, and exactly. just like oh, showcasing like where it is on like on their model and stuff. That's yeah, a, yeah. that's awesome. I, I didn't even know that. that? Fair, I didn't even know that. <laughs> no, one, no one got this reference. Uh, and I was like, all right, but there, it, it's there, you know. Uh, let cool. me see. That's, I don't know if I, I can find the... Uh, can, can I send the uh, link here on, on the discussion uh, chat? Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, YouTube link or something? You're able to. Uh, yes, you can. Let me that see. That is if insane. I find it, if I find You're a madman. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't... <laughs> find the specific part of it right now but i'll send oh, a screenshot man. of it and you can you can see uh you can make your own comparison of it it's a big brain move uh, oh my goodness yeah <laughs> just, guys just the is finding out about this like he's still yeah. finding out stuff to this day even after all this was, time i thought it was just a cool shot i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, got this one. Yeah, there, there's a lot of a lot, a lot of other references, like sound effects, awesome. like uh, specific lines, you know. But yeah, I, 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 I'm working on a video about this, these references. All the Easter eggs, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. this, I love this the one, uh, Yes. You see the same pose, uh, the camera movement. 
Of course, the camera is not the same, exact same, but you know, their yeah. reference is there. It's yeah. reminiscent <laughs> of it. <laughs> uh, you heard that, audience? We got to go watch the video three, th- uh, uh, 30 more times. Come on, let's find more references. <laughs> you got to get all the Easter eggs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> minimum. <laughs> Can you uh, find the Easter eggs? Can you find it? <laughs> find the Easter eggs. Easter egg hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for answering my question. That's. Oh my gosh. Yep. Got. Thanks gotta keep those eyes question. peeled. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. No worries. Worries. Uh, uh, actually, let me let me do one more. All right. Let me. Oh. Let me... oh okay. Yeah. Oh, sure. Nice. One more, nice. One more. One more reference. The, the last I'm one. <laughs> well, right, in the right. in the air shoes commercial when. Uh, Mike says developed by the genius mind of Maria and Gerald Robotnik, something like this. And yes. you can see, you can hear actually, uh, you can hear, sorry, <laughs> you can hear uh, specific sound effects, uh, uh, like adapting the loud, the laughing of the Robotniks there, which is showing up in the screen. Uh, and this, uh, when we were working on making this. Sound effects. We took reference in the Sonic Mania. Uh, the, there are some shorts of Sonic Mania, you know. Yeah, and you're right. They, they, they're not a voice act, you know. They, there is no voice acting in the shorts of Sonic Mania. But there's some part of it which Robotnik's l- uh, laugh in it. Yeah, and like he's laughing instead, at Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of a uh, regular laughing noise. It gets this uh, kind of funny noise, you know, and we we make uh, you know we adapted this part in the in the the commercial. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. That's this good. part right here. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, I see. I, I I see. I see cookies. Like oh uh, yeah, the like cookies. Like very very excited to. Uh, <laughs> you're right, cookie. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. No yeah. yeah, that is, yeah. It was really cool when, when you with the whole air, with, with the whole air shoes uh, thing. I, I I tagged Ian in it, and he loved it. Ian Hanlon was the guy who said they're air shoes. Like he's the one who said it. Yeah. So oh, he's he the one. Yeah, that's the one that it. stuck to me the most, just because oh oh oh, he, oh it's he the shadow he, he said all. <laughs> so it's cool it's really nice yeah. uh, it, it, it was really fun to to add the the reference there but yeah trust me you, you won't even even if you watch it 30 times you won't get every <laughs> reference of it it's like so that means we have to watch it 60 times <laughs> there's a lot of reference in this one for real yeah uh-huh. good, good stuff man that's that's awesome yeah <laughs> amazing stuff just man uh thank you thank you so much for Thanks this so little moment impression. here you guys deserve all the love uh being thrown at you for this just thank you agreed uh, thanks guys cheers thank, yeah. you. thank you thank you oh awesome. there's someone in the chat the oh sorry you can go yeah, the, awesome. i'm pretty sure you saw that same question too pretty interesting question for me to pay get to say no predictions they asked that was both your um your Vocal cords, that random goon, and oh, yeah. uh, random vocal cords after streaming. <laughs> yeah, real quick. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll answer this real quick. It's a, it's my second favorite part of the recording. Oddly enough, um, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> we were recording that line. Oh my god! For like that was a lo- It was the longest thing we recorded. And I remember Felipe was saying, and, and the audio engineer, um, what's his name? I, I want to give him Elife. Yeah, he's he's shout out to Elife. He's the goat too. He makes us all sound good. Um, yeah, for real. <laughs> um, no, it was just like he, they were both like, "Do you want to take a break? Because you're you're gonna you're hurt. You, we don't want you to get hurt." And I'm like, "No, we got to do it. I'm in the zone. I have to do it. I have to do it." <laughs> <laughs> and I just didn't want to stop. Obviously, don't do that if you're actually like recording screams. It's very important to take care of yourself. But I was just so hyped off of it. I was like, no, I have to get it done. Um, I was okay because I, I obviously kept myself hydrated. And when it was when I was reaching a breaking point, I did stop. But 
I was I was I was talking whispers for the net for the last couple of days after that. So I didn't record any I didn't record anything for days, even my own personal stuff for at least a week, just to give myself ample time to recover. But it no, was it was I, I can only speak for myself. I don't know how Bruno was at all. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Bruno, Bruno is just uh, <laughs> man, a, a fun fact about this one. Uh, the English vo- uh, version of it also had Bruno's voice in the yes. screen. You know, yes, we, it's, did. Uh, we, uh-huh. we did like uh, we were talking about Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. almost like a Dragon Ball fusion, fusion between Moon <laughs> and Bruno. You know. Yeah, yeah, so the scream that you hear in the English version, it's a mix of me yeah. and Bruno's scream. So exactly. that was the that was what uh, direction Felipe wanted to go in. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we were like, we did, we, we, we did the fusion dance where we used the proper <laughs> things, yeah, and we became yeah, but, one, the true ultimate life form at that exactly, point. Exactly, exactly. No, yeah, <laughs> uh, man, it, it was really, really, really great to, to see the effort that both Bruno and Giovanni put on this one, you know, like yeah. both of yeah. them, both both of them, and uh, I won't say much, but the Spanish voice actor, and uh, we already oh, recorded the Spanish I'm so voice. Excited. Actor. So excited to he hear also, him. <laughs> he also gave his best. I, I promise you, like man, he was I'm like so excited. Man, yeah, yeah, he. he uh, uh, let me tell you, he just uh, he like he put his chair back. And he mm-hmm. dropped on his knees. He put his mic on, and, oh. and he screamed on his knees. You know? It so was good. crazy. Like man, you are about to see the Spanish version. A lot of people <laughs> were asking for the Spanish version, so yeah. yeah. I'll make sure to upset that I was on, so I can actually understand what they're saying because I'm definitely watching that. I want to watch that. I want to see that. Absolutely, <laughs> I implore everyone to check out all the versions and get them all to a million. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> this Vegeta, this Vegeta give uh, right there in the chat. That's that's Goon screaming. You know, like <laughs> man, yes. you know, it was like, bro, chill, chill. <laughs> Hold <Yeah>. on, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was I was breaking barriers. I was breaking yeah. my limits at that point. I was like, okay, no, I gotta keep going. But yeah, in, yeah. and but just rule of thumb: if you don't want to strain your vocal cords, please do not do yeah. it. It's, I mean, you already got scared, man. It. For real, for real. Yeah. Don't, really? don't do that. If you feel even the slightest of pain, take a break. Come back later because it'll take longer to recover from that as opposed to five yeah. minutes or twenty. You know. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. Really fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Who do we have next? Let's see, you know, here I was I was gonna call on someone, but they just dipped out. Uh, <laughs> oh no, come back! Oh no, oh, no. yeah, they did not uh, want their question answered. <laughs> no, it's um, Trey Nobles popped in for a brief bit, and I saw they had their hand raised, and I was just about oh, to call on them once <laughs> once you wrapped that up. But they just said that like they had to get going, so I messaged them. I said, "Hey, you know, if you want to hang around, <laughs> I was I was just about to call on you." <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. But yeah, anyway, it, in the meantime, I guess I'll I'll answer another text question. Uh, let's do sure. text question here. I'm excited for the question. Me too. Me too. Let's see. <laughs> um, there was one that I saw that was just recently um, <clears throat> put in there. Let's see here. Um, from Rude You, or mm-hmm. I think I said that right, or Rud You, or something like that. Um, hello. I really like how the fan film came out and all the work everyone put into it. I even cried at the end. If you could answer my question, please, is the model in your fan film a complete replica of the shadow model at, from the end of Sonic movie two, or did you add additional details to it? That's a good question, Felipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, yeah, no, sh- let me tell you something. The model. <laughs> <laughs> the model uh, that I did for Project Shadow was made. Uh, I started working on it before the movie came out, the before Sonic Two, you know. So yeah, it's not a, a replica of it. Of course, after it came out, we saw the post credit scenes. Of course, I adapted it, you know, to to match it, the to make it feel like it, uh, the the inspired material, which is the the Paramount movies. 
<laughs> but it's not. It's not a uh, like direct replica of it. Even though, because in the Sonic Three, we already know that Shadow we will get different shoes from the post credit scene. So yeah, yeah, they're different. Different, you know. But yeah, it was they also teased his shoes inspired, too. Of course, I think they teased his shoes too recently. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, they did. They did. Maybe, maybe, uh, uh, maybe, maybe they'll drop you. Maybe now it'll be in reverse. So now they saw Project Shadow. They're going to see your mom and be like, oh, let's, let's give him the extra quill. Let's do it. I don't know if I, if I should say it here, but, but uh, never think Spoilers. if I should say it. But maybe uh, the thing is, maybe if may. Uh, Look, at the, uh, pay attention in the words that I'm saying. Maybe <laughs> if I do <laughs> another <laughs> video, another another something with Shadow, maybe I'll uh, make a, a replica of the new shoes and all the stuff. You know, maybe, maybe that would be uh, really cool just to see the updated take on it. Yeah, but yeah that'd it, be cool. It is looking pretty, pretty awesome. Like in the the the. the Promotional a picture that they sent is amazing. Yeah, man. Hopefully that answered your question. Oh, yeah. t t thanks for the, the question. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chris, you want to call on the next person? Yeah, let's see. I don't know if we bring up that those some more. Sorry if I butchered that name. So oh, Ecteon is is typing. I know the I did this nickname. Ecteon. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, so happy to be here. Uh, okay, so Yes, if you, if you were commenting, I think we did interact before a couple of times, but okay, there's a, but I don't think it's important right now. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Yeah, so, okay, so, okay, so, like, I also really like the fan film, like everybody else here, and well, and a little fun fact here, I, it, it pre okay, like, I was aware of it, but I, I, I watched it the same day I watched Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Willy Wonka movie, like, you know, it's such a, such an epic clash of emotions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> okay. So here's a so here's a question. Uh, it, well, I don't want to spoil every anybody here, but judging that every, uh, I hope everybody has watched the short film. So, just taking it from this stinger, how would you improve Black Doom? Like, how would you adapt him and improve him from the video games? Because you know, like, he's not very well liked because he's considered generic. You know, in fact, I like kind of I just came up with this joke, like because. I've, okay, I think it's gonna be stupid when they see how I glitter. <laughs> so, okay, I, so how how would I adapt to Black Doom in the Project yeah. Shadow universe? Yeah, that's what he's uh, asking. Yes. Mm, uh, thanks for your question. First, uh, yeah, of course. That, that's a that's a tough one. Uh, let me see. Man, there's a lot of different ways to to go. You know, uh, it really really takes longer for me to, to answer this question, you know, but I, I actually like the idea of the, the games, you know, so I'll, uh, if I, if I ever adapt him in the, I don't know, sequel of Project Shadow or something, I'll make sure to make it respectful to the original material, you know, the, the games and all the stuff, but yeah, and, and loyal to it, you know, so I would make it, uh, too different, you know, like Shadow. Uh, is talking about uh, uh, what we did and not what we could do. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog in Project Shadow is, a, a, is an adaptation, you know. It's not the same of the uh, games. It's not the same of the uh, animations. And I the same thing... Understood. Yeah, the same thing will probably... Continue. Oh, sorry? I know, I was just telling you to continue because I felt like I interrupted. Oh no! So no, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, the same thing. Uh, the same way that Shadow is a different version of it in Project Shadow, uh, Black Doom would also be a different version of what we we already know uh, of, from the games. You know. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, it will be like I mentioned, respectful, loyal, and at the same time, uh, new. You know, so people get interested in in watching it. Yeah, this this is one of the the key things that I took in consideration when writing Project Shadow. I didn't want it to make something like that, like people already know, like 
Shadow, as I mentioned, is a different version. It's a new version. You never, you never saw that shadow before. You know, so that's one of the things that I would take in consideration when uh, adapting Black Two, if I ever do. You know, to make it new, original. Mm -hmm. Yes, because well, what I mean, it's yes, I mean uh, it will have to be faithful, but like you know, maybe you could also add a bit more depth to him. Like for example, Paul, if I if I were to write for him, I think I will take some cues from Disney's versions of Josh Clark Frollo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like maybe he, cons like he wants to destroy humanity, not because. Well, not because he just sees them as worthless, but because he see, but because he sees the black arms as a superior race to the, to the pitiful humans. Like he sees that, why should I say the why should this human stay? Like they are constantly in war. There's racism. They have little to no respect for each other. Why should I save them? Like mm -hmm. a black reflection of shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense, you know, uh, to add some uh, depth to this character. Of course, of course. As I mentioned, uh, a way to make him different from the original material you know to make this uh it unique you know not not that the character from the original material is not original or, or not unique but i mean different from the original material you know like like um, i did with shadow uh a different version of the character we already know you know so it's interesting for the public to watch it that's that's what I, i'm trying to say all right yeah. well thank understood. you for the question yeah. You're welcome, and it was a pleasure to be, meet you all for the, well, it's not the first time exactly, but I chat with you, but it will be the first time I also meet Mr. Mike Pollock, uh, Amazing Work at Segment. I really admire it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and listening. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So Trey got mm -hmm. back to me with uh, their question. They asked... Um, when the idea for Project Shadow came about, was it before Sonic Movie 2 released or was it after? <laughs> That's an interesting question. This is a funny question because I asked this Felipe the same thing. Felipe! Felipe? Oh, oh, uh -oh. No. oh Discord, everyone. <laughs> oh no, we lost Felipe. Let me see if I can find him. Felipe, you there? Discord, everyone! <laughs> 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 There's the Discord class. moment. Truly a Discord moment. You know, sometimes it works if we br if we take them off and bring them back up. Sometimes that works. Uh, yeah, we can give it a shot. We'll see, we'll see if that uh, if that'll do it. Let's let's, let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Can you see? It works. He lives. So sorry, guys. So sorry, my <laughs> my computer just turned off out of nowhere. Like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But the yeah, question, like, the question was very intense. The computer, <laughs> something like this. <laughs> All right, so do, sorry, you to, so sorry, do you need me to repeat the question for you? I I, I did I did uh, uh, heard anything after I I gone I I, I gone when the the last question guy just. Uh, got out of the, the call. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Trey got back to me with their question. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> they wanted to ask. Uh, they wanted to ask when the idea for Project Shadow came about. Was it before Sonic Movie Two released or after? Because they know it's been a minute since the movie released, but the production of Project Shadow had to have taken a long time with limited resources to look as good as it does. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Let, let me just check here. Uh, I have the exact date <laughs> of no, it. Yeah. Uh, Man is well prepared. I respect it. Yeah, I can go okay. mm, Project Shadow, Project Shadow. I guess. Uh, let me see here. Oh, man. Yeah. August 2022. Before August 2022. All right. So, yeah. In the beginning of 2022, before Sonic 2 came out. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. dude. Yeah. Um, and this uh, is this the, the original <laughs> plan. The, the original plan was uh, to to be to finish it before Sonic 2. You know, but yeah, I guess it was impossible. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, you know. But the original plan was. To, and when I when I saw it, the the first post credits with with Shadow and they like the the last line of Sonic Two is what's this? Nah, Project Shadow. And I was like, oh man, 
they knew something <laughs> <laughs> because it was the, a, a perfect coincidence, you know, because the, mm-hmm. the project was already to, uh, set to be shadow. The script was already written. And uh, as I mentioned, we already, well, we, we were already working on it, you know, uh, just the, the recordings on studio. It was after the, the release of Sonic movie two, but the, the reading, the screenwriting and all the stuff was before it. And after the movie came out, they presented the Master Emerald, the, the, a, little, a little different take from the original, uh, from the games with the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emerald. So I, have to, I had to adapt the script to it. So there's the, the idea that Jared got the, a, a shard of the Master Emerald and all the stuff and created the Chaos Drive and you know the rest. But yeah, uh, we started before Sonic 2. All right. Yeah. That's always interesting because I imagine like the ideas have been, had been there for a while. And you know, with, with filmmaking, a lot of the times with, with the process, it takes a long time to get from like concepts to actual like filming. So I imagine it probably did start before the movie came out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. All right, Chris, you want to go ahead and call on the next person? Uh, before we do that, we do have a text question from Gokinson. They ask, based on the events of Project Shadow fan film, what theories can you uh, pr- propose about Sonic Movie 3? What, oh, boy. What, uh, uh, so, sorry, what go, ahead. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So, like, how, how do you think Sonic 3 is going to turn out? Exactly. Like, what are your theories? Oh man, this is tough because obviously I think the first it's gonna <laughs> they're they're gonna make their own project shadow in like the first twenty minutes to like talk about his story. I already I have a feeling. I have a gut feeling that because the, they have to get it out of the way. Uh, hey, I saw your work. Yeah, they'll probably get there, some attention for that. Yeah, there were leaks of the Knuckles uh live action show. Or yeah, the Paramount, the Paramount Plus show. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, you, I, I based off of that, I just I have no idea what they're going to do. All I know is like the, it's going to start out with that n- wonderful flashback 50 years ago, and for, at that point, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, man, uh, I'm in the same uh, the same position of of Goon, you know. Like I, I don't think they will do a uh, whole Project Shadow stuff in the first minutes of it because man, they have a lot of characters to to develop to develop yeah. sorry, in this char- in this movie, and yeah, true. like I, I, I think we'll probably have some flashbacks, or of course, but yeah, I, I really don't know. I, I really, really don't know. They, they have uh, a ton of different paths to to go you know mm-hmm. absolutely yeah, I, I really don't know <laughs> if, I, if, I had a, if i had a theory all right, all right let, <laughs> let me say a, a quick te- theory to answer your question yeah uh, i i my theory is that shadow is there uh to uh, of course they will uh, team up with on- sonic and uh, the whole team and all uh, the stuff to uh, counteract some other villain and since Robotnik is theori- theoretically dead, uh, Jim, Jim Carrey's Robotnik is probably dead. I don't know. Uh, maybe he'll come back. Maybe. Yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. But if he's dead, uh, I guess uh, the main villain of the, the movie, instead of being the bio lizard and the space colony and the Jared's plane, as it is in Sonic X and in Sonic 2, Adventure 2, maybe. The, the main villains can be something like Emerald or a merge between Emerald metal and Sonic. Metal. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it will be a, 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 powerful, a powerful enough villain to take on Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and Shadow. Or maybe even Black Doom. I, I guess they will probably uh, introduce or, I don't know, mention Black Doom in it. Like, it's part of the, the basics, you know? So... That's my theory, but <laughs> I really have no, no, nothing to <laughs> to say. You know, that's only from my mind. 
<laughs> all I know is, all I know is, there's going to be the famous scene where he says, "It all starts with this." It has to. <laughs> it has to. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to lose. I'm going to chaos control out of there. Like I, I can't. <laughs> I feel like that's just a, n- a necessary thing. Yeah, and if they and if they are gonna if they are gonna go the SA two route and just adapt it fully, all I'm asking for is live and learn, please. That's all yeah, I want. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. <laughs> like I don't care if it's a re- like a like a new version of it or the old one, which would be even insane. But just for the love of God, if you're gonna adapt it, please, please, please. <laughs> yeah. uh, and by the way, by the way, uh, I'm I'm really, really, really enjoy these days. Before, uh, I mean, I'm I'm of course I'm so excited to watch Sonic Three, but be, uh, I, I'm enjoying why uh, my my Shadow, you know, from Project Shadow is the only live action Shadow that we have. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Like my last days, you know? yeah. <laughs> because when when the movie drops, everyone is probably going to forget about this project. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it might be the opposite. Where you know, because you drop this crazy big project, I think people are we're garnering a lot of hype for Sonic Three now. Yeah, like, no, of course, of course, unintentionally. Yeah. Like now, we really want to see Sonic Three. Yeah, you know, guys, reviews, reaction videos to, to yeah. the project. Like, yeah, like, I, I remember, I remember watching one guy. I forgot his name, but he was like, "We got Sonic Three right here. It's already done." <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what well, we gotta enjoy why, yeah. while Boone is our English Shadow and Bruno. I, I, I wished that Bruno keeps uh they they call bruno to be the brazilian that would be shadow, so you know? cool because that would be so is, cool. is really 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 possible yeah. you know Bro- so if if we get at least this it will be like perfect for me you know yeah but yeah else comes full circle yeah absolutely all right. all right uh i will call on the next person let's go with uh let's go with lily creates lily Come on up. Come on up. <gasps> Hello. 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 Hi. Um, I'm you. Lily. And I had a question regarding how the film was made, um, especially for everyone. I had a question about what advice regarding can you give creators such as myself working on personal projects about building one's discipline and work ethic? And if yeah, possible you guys give us a glimpse of what a day could look like while you guys are working on the film, whether it be from the voice acting perspective, directing, artworks, and so on. Thank you for the opportunity once again. Uh, thank, thank you, you so for the question. Thank you, thank you so much for your question. Uh, if I give uh, advice for personal pro- working on personal projects, man, uh, it's hard because the, the main thing that I think uh, the, the, the hardest part of it is to keep motivated uh, for so long time in the same project and keep the, the same quality, you know. Uh, but so if I, if I have a advice for you, it will be to uh, try to keep always motivated on it. And how can, how, how's the, the how, how do they say? Uh, better done than perfect. That's it. The, uh, the, the, someone said, said it. <laughs> better done than perfect. Which means right. that uh, it, I'm a perfectionist myself and I know that some things, in, like I, a lot of things in the Project Shadow and all the, the other uh, personal projects and you know commercial projects that I've worked with uh, could be better, you know. But if I keep going and keep working on it forever. It will never be done, you know? So mm-hmm. that's, that's a, a, an advice uh, that I give. Better done than perfect and uh, stay motivated, you know? Uh, I'll help, uh, I'll think to, that helped me to get mo- keep motivated. It was to involve a lot of people in this project, you know, because uh, as I mentioned it, I always work by myself, you know? so. If I don't uh, post a video on YouTube or something like this, the only one that will be like, the only one that will be, how can I say it, hurt 
it will be myself, you know, because I worked on it and I did finish. But working on others, uh, the voice acting team, the original cast, the CGI uh, uh, people and all the stuff, I had the responsibility to keep up with the works of others, you know, so I, I couldn't stop. Uh, a lot of times I thought about stopping, about uh, giving up on it. Uh, you know, uh, we, all, we all go through this when working on a huge project. Uh, but yeah, I always remember, man, I got to do it not only for me, but because of all the people that got involved in this and that believe in this project, you know. So uh, it's an advice. If you can uh, gather people, good, talented people to work with you, it will surely help you to get motivated, you know. Even though you, you don't talk about them, uh, or you don't talk with them uh, asking for motivation, just to have more people working on a project uh, with you, it will help you give, uh, keep motivated, you know. I hope I, I answered your question. <laughs> yes, you did. Thank you. That was, those Thank are you. great advices. And, and good luck with your project, of course. Yeah. So, um, Goon, Mike, did you add to that as well? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, well, for, for, for me, at least, with the voice acting part of it, it's just a lot of trusting the director. Um, because I, like I said briefly, initially, like I went into the recording, all broody shadow, like the, the, the Jason Griffiths and, you know, the, the, the ones that we already know and love. But like I said, Felipe was like, no, let's, let's just use like a deeper version of your regular voice because this is a shadow that's hasn't gone through stuff yet. And that was, a uh, that was tough because in all my videos that I do, it's like, I kind of, it's kind of like a, like a. Not a joke, but he's he's like way too serious. And to actually like humanize him a little bit, it was it was it was interesting, but it was fun at the end of the day. Um, a lot of patience in the booth. You know, don't beat yourself up if uh, if you can't get it right the first time. Just uh, just trust the director, and uh, you get the final product like we we got there. So that's all I got. And for me, it was a combination of different yet typical. Um, it was different because it was uh, not the usual team of Sonic related people that I wouldn't normally work with, but um, it was fairly typical as far as a uh, voiceover session. Felipe directed, uh, Felipe facilitated. I took direction and made sure that Felipe was happy so that by the time I was done, I could, I could go home. I mean, I was <laughs> home, but I could leave yeah. the session knowing that, uh, that uh, Felipe's needs had been met and satisfied mm -hmm. all right those those are really great advices from everyone thank you so much and i wish you all the best in your future endeavors hey likewise uh, appreciate thank it you so much for you too thank, thank you for the question uh, thank you all right chris want to go ahead and call the next person and then we bring up josh since he just got his hand up hey there, josh can y'all hear me okay we can hear you yeah i think so <laughs> Alrighty. Um I just uh for but yeah, just uh first uh first of all wanted to say awesome job on the uh awesome job on the product to everyone involved. You know, you Felipe, you uh Goon, and uh, of course always good to see you. Always good to uh hear you, Mike, as well. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And uh Thank you, I just want Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just wanted to um this is just something uh I'm just kind of more or less kind of piggybacking on what you were saying there, Goon, because I'm just I'm just curious because I actually really did like your take on Shadow for the fan film. Um, was there like your what you what you uh, mentioned with the um, like regarding regarding your take for it in the movie? Was there like uh, even was there like any particular like inspirations that you had with how you went about it or was it just kind of like your. I know you. I know you mentioned that part of it was direction from Felipe. But was like, was there any like particular like inspirations from like other previous takes, or was it just kind of like your own thing? <laughs> just out of curiosity. <laughs> yeah. So that that's a good question. Um, so originally, my shadow voice is like was originally like a mixture of everyone. So like David Humphrey, uh, Jason, Kirk, and Ian. Um, that's how I usually like start out, and then I 
put my own twist on it just so I can make it my own. But Felipe was like, no, uh, just use your regular speaking voice, but like a little bit deeper um, and a little softer because he's still like, yeah, he has that air of innocence around him. And for that, I think I channeled more of David Humphrey because David is like the softer one out of all of the shadow voice actors, but he can get serious when he needs to. Um, just being soft spoken, not with the chip on your shoulder yet. It it just it I got better with it as the recording went on. Um it was just a different perspective, but once I had the direction from Felipe, it it kind of just came naturally, you know, because especially if you said use your regular speaking voice, I was like, all right, cool, no problem. I'll I'll do that. I can do that. I do that every day. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. If I, if I if I can if I can add to to Goon's uh, answer, uh, go uh, a little uh, uh, one of the reference that Goon had there, and I always I always told you, told him to check out the original work that we did with Bruno. Yes, you know? yes, 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 yes. So, yeah, and when directing Bruno uh, here in Brazil, the 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 official voice of Shadow is Reginaldo Primo. And he has a really deep voice, you know, really, really, really deep and strong. And Bru uh, when, when I called Bruno to do it, uh, he came up trying to uh, make an a, uh, um, impression of Reginaldo, you know, and say loud, loud and, and deep and all the stuff, you know. <laughs> Menacing and badass all the time. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, but when I uh, what I told him was, man, do your regular voice, you know, and soft soft voice uh, as I as I direct uh, Giovanni, which mm -hmm. uh, because both of you, uh, both Giovanni and both Bruno, has already a, a regular deep voice, so you don't need to make it even deeper, you know. So your your voices are already uh, deep enough, you know. So basically, they they used. They, their own uh, voice, the the regular voice, uh, just a little bit uh, of changes, but this is important to make the character have different emotions. You know, if I if I ask yeah. Goom to if I have, if I ask Goom to make a Jason Griffin impression or something like this, oh, dark and mysterious, as he as he always says, <laughs> uh, it would it would not be a, enough emotion. You know. Jason yeah. can do it because that's uh, his, his voice, you know, he's not impersonating anyone, mm -hmm. he's doing his voice. If Goon tried to do Jason's voice and try to add emotion to it, it will be way harder. I know, yeah. I know he can do it, but it will be way harder, you know. So mm -hmm. to, to have the, to be able to work with the regular voices of, of the actors, which voices voice voices Shadow, Will, will make it really easier, you know, and really, really more emotional. So you can, you can see, you can feel when Shadow's voice is more sad, is more angry, you know, all because we had this room to work with since we were working with almost the regular voices of either Goon and Bruno, you know? Yeah, yeah, for yep. sure. All righty. Um, all righty. I, I appreciate, I appreciate y'all answering my question. Thank you. Um, yeah, Thank you no so problem. Thanks for Thank you for the question. question. Absolutely. Y'all take it easy. You yeah. too. Great, all right. How many more questions you think we can fit in? Uh, What's that, Chris? I was saying, how many more questions do you think we can fit in? Um, that's a good question. I think we've got about 20, 20 or so minutes left. Um, Oh man, we start around more questions. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got the around. panel fever. <laughs> we started around like ten we started around like eight, twenty-ish, like my time, so probably gonna be around like twenty-ish minutes left. Um so, so like I see you probably get my time. If, we could probably get a few more. Um All right. I guess I'll go ahead and call on the next person. Let's go with. Uh, I'll like, go with I'll like say that real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll like to say something real quick. Giovanni sure. lied to all of you when huh? he answered what? this this last question because he told <laughs> that 
uh, we were getting good as we we were getting better on it as we were. <laughs> no, 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 no. He was yeah. like, he is just that good all the time, you know. <laughs> From the beginning of the session, he was just that good. That's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. You, you, scared, me. you scared me. I was like, oh my god, did I actually lie? If it don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, making sure to know what you were doing, man. Oh my god! Oh, good. You're a good actor. I like that. <laughs> Anyways, All right. Still good. Uh, uh, Ruby Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Always perfect. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, Ruby. Hello. 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 Ruby. Are you there? Oh, yeah. He's hello. in Discord, everyone. <laughs> He's gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, no. Are we? No, I, I still can't hear you. Moment, there was some green there. Hold, hold oh on. Let's, let's see if this works. Discord being Discord, everyone. As the, yes. the <laughs> boss almost, almost said it. <laughs> yes. Are we? You there? There we go. There we go. There we go. Hello. Yeah. We had you for a minute there. Yeah. Yeah, boy. We can hear you. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm Ruby. Um. I, I've uh, it's it's so it's so finally great to meet you, Mr. Pollock. Thank you. Your your work is amazing. I I adore thank you. you. And thank you. Um, funny enough, I've actually been a fan of randoms for like about a while now. Oh, <laughs> nice. Twitter. Hello. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hi. Um, so. Oh boy, I have a lot of questions. Um, but there's this one question that I really want to ask because I know all of us are like a little bit of a shadow fan. It, deep down in each one of us, we're just a bit of a shadow fan. But like, what do you? How do you envision yourself in shadow? Like, do, where do you find some similarities in the character? Like, you know, like how do you relate to him? Uh, I don't like people, so that that's like the main <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, joking, I'm, joking. I'm joking. Um, I just like how he—he's got—he—he's like the more realistic character. Like he's not gonna always be smiling. He's not gonna always be laughing. You know, life happens, and he—he he is a perfect like physical manifestation of that. Like he's a good symbol of that. Like hey, things happen, but we know despite all that, we still move forward, live our best life. I think that's why I like him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that that's me. He's also uh, really cool, so I can relate to that. He's also really cool. You very, say very, cool. very cool. <laughs> He's very epic. I like him. He is very epic. <laughs> actually, funny enough, um, <laughs> funny enough, I'm just gonna say this right now. I actually came from a Q and A, uh, straight. Oh, nice. Well, actually, straight from a Q and A, um, because I'm a part of this other. YouTube channel, but I'm not going to go into it. Um, yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm just, my, my hands are shaking so bad right now. Okay. It's <laughs> all good. Uh, but yeah, I'm, and I'm just gonna, yeah, but just, I'm just gonna say this right now, Felipe. Your your short film is a big. It has been a very big inspiration for me ever since it like came out, and I'm like, like, and ever since I was very little, I've always wanted to be a voice actor, especially for like Sonic related stuff and like Sega related things. And I was just like, when it, when it came out, I was like, you know what? This I feel like this actually gave me a like a bit of motivation in my life, and it really hit me in like a very positive light. And I just want to say thank you so much for your creativity oh. and for everything that you did and put your passion into that film. And I just say, yeah, I just have to say you are incredible and you are amazing and you are a great person. Oh man. No, don't say <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's, it's, it's really an honor to, to be able to inspire other people with it. It is really, really, really glad. I'm, I'm really glad of it. You know, thank you so much for it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, thank you for answering my question. And, um, well, I hope you have a great day, afternoon, or night, or whatever time zone you're in. And I hope you all take care. Likewise. Thank, thank you, you for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the coolest. <laughs> he said the line. He did the thing. He did. Everyone, it's over. <laughs> he said the line. Over. He said the line. He did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Chris, you want to call up the next person? Yeah, and if not, we bring uh, let's bring a voice of Nathan, aka Nathan. Oh, Nathan, oh. Man of, <laughs> my nemesis. I know this name. There he is. 
There he is. Guys. Long time no see. Hey, dude. Yeah. Hello, Nathan. Hey. All right. So Hi. I have a question here for Mike. So, yes. uh, Mike, as an industry professional, how was your experience working remote on such a project? How did it differ from your usual experiences? What overlaps with the usual did you uh, experience? I'm curious to know from my own experiences to kind of learn from that. Um, remote has been a thing since the pandemic in, in a big way. So I've gotten used to working remote. Um, there's a first time for everyone working remote. And this was one of Felipe's first times working remote. So I mm -hmm. was throwing him some uh, useful audio platforms to use. And we settled on one. And once we got the bugs worked out, um, it was a very fast learning curve. And we only had a limited amount of time because of the budget, but uh, we were able to hit our stride quite quickly. And uh, Felipe got what he needed. Um, he directed me very well, uh, if I do say so myself. And uh, I was able to to make sure that he got what he needed in the fewest amount of takes, and uh, we ended happily. So it worked. Uh, it was very much a typical remote uh, remote session after the first couple of minutes of uh, getting the bugs out. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Mike. Sure, yeah, thanks for asking. Definitely checks out, because it definitely I th must have been uh, before the session that I'd recorded with. Uh, definitely, I think you talking with that probably helped our session go smoother. Mm -hmm. Definitely started off a little rocky. I think that's a uh, general for all of us there. That's thank you. I, sure, that's typical. It, when, once once you get the hang of remote recording, it's usually pretty easy. But you got to start somewhere. We all do. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's all I have. Cool. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Yep, that's a good question. Thank you, Nathan. Here's the Q2. Right. The Q2 guy walking around like nothing Shut happened. Scott Maria. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, Nathan right. is good. Everyone go follow Nathan. Yeah, for real, for real. Awesome. All right. Uh, I will call on the next person. Let's go with uh, Sally Acorn. Come on up. Why, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. there. Hola. Man, it's great to see you, um, Felipe, and random. And goon, and of course, my favorite voice of Dr. Eggman, Mike. Thank Mike, you so much. Fantastic. So Great much. to be here. Thanks for joining us here on the stage. Oh, yes, no it's... problem. Um, from, um, I actually have a question for or Felipe hey, Santiago here. Um, first off, love the project shadow that you and, and your friend and our mate made. Um, I actually in the last part it was it was actually uh, an emotional one for me. I actually cried on the inside. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so right. much. <laughs> no problem. Um, my question is, um, how did you bring up Mike Pollock here? You're doing the uh, the cameo commercial thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we talked about this. Uh, actually, Mike talked about it uh, earlier. And as he said, it was really, really, really simple. Uh, I just reached out to him, talked about the project, and we agreed about the budget, all the stuff, all this, you know, the technical stuff. And we started. Yeah, that, that was, uh, believe me, it was easier than uh, most people think of, you know. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that Mike was really open to the idea uh, really uh, had attention when reading the emails and when answering it. And, you know, a lot of the, these uh, industry professionals are really uh, hard to, to talk with, you know, for, to, to start. And Mike was not this case, you know. He was really, really good, uh, really, really, uh, how can I say it? Uh, he really had attention to the project, you know. So... Yeah, that, that's basically it. It was really, really easy to to talk to Mike. I I, I thought it was be it would be more uh, harder, you know. It would be harder. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mike's the best best boy, yeah, big man. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh man, and so, oh, uh, before I l leave the, this um. This panel here, I was gonna say my reaction when I hear Dr. Eggman and uh, on 
the commercial who cameo, I was like, my mind was like, no way, that's Eggman. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it was revealed that it was Mike Pollock. And I was like, geeking out, out of, um, of hearing his voice, Lisa, in your project, which it was, like I said, it was spot on. Thank you so much. <laughs> you, I'm so glad to have him in, in the project. Mike, you're awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much, Felipe. Yes. I got you. <laughs> right back get you uh, well thank you right. Sally for the question <laughs> no you, problem Sally. keep on being an awesome, awesome uh, pr- project maker and your video for Project Shadow I give it an S rank for that oh thank you so much <laughs> you're welcome got the S rank bro nice Nine cue the Sonic uh, level complete TV. theme <laughs> <laughs> what did you say Oh, I said, uh, I said, cue the Sonic level complete theme. Yes. <laughs> you got that S rank. Just play the music. All right. Uh, Chris, you want to call on the next person? All right. We got time for about two more. All right. How about we bring up uh, uh, both the fluffy worm? Right. Or, yeah, hang on. Uh, I, I love Discord nicknames. <laughs> oh, wow. I did not expect to get picked at like the last couple minutes. But hey, hello. I expect it. <laughs> I actually met. I'm sure you recognize me, Mike Pollock. I seen you at a Sonic Revo online 2023. Sure. Welcome back. All right. So my question was, um, is like the the film like for like a teaser of what's gonna happen in the next movie? Like, is Shadow gonna have like visions or I don't know? It, it, it will be like a Vietnam flashback to him. Um, like PTSD. That's a little dark. Uh, let's not let's not compare it to that. But um, yeah, the. The fan film itself is not specifically canon to the movie universe, but is it's more so inspired by it. But uh, Felipe, do you want to comment on that? Uh, it's uh, how you say it. It's not canon, uh, at least not yet. You know, <laughs> I didn't hear anything from Paramount, so yeah, I, I don't know what's coming in Sun Three. That would be that would be cool. If uh, <laughs> if if, it, if it, the, it, it shows the Paramount logo and. It's some time ago, Professor Gerald if, was. <laughs> if, just if, <laughs> just so if I get an email from Paramount calling, oh, can we can we show your movie in the screenings for for Sonic Three? I'll be like, yeah, or, of course. <laughs> like that's, that's how it starts. Like how um, if you guys have seen into the uh, across the Spider Verse, the first like twenty plus minutes is someone else's story, and then it gets to the actual movie. That would be so funny. That would be so funny. It was just. I know about the Lego. I know about the Lego cameo. The the guy that made this uh, the Lego animation and got called to the to working yeah, on the. Yeah, exactly. Like that, you never know. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool, <laughs> of course. But but uh, th- there's some some. Uh, I don't know if it will be uh, an issue or uh, you know, but. Project Shadow was not made to the big screen, you know. Uh, yeah, people liked it because they watched it on the cell phone, on the smartphone, sorry, on the TV or monitor, uh, PC, you know. But if you if you watch it in the, the big screen, some problems will start to, to come out, you know. Uh, yeah. like it, 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 you know, it's not, it, it was not made to, to it, so maybe that's a, a reason. Uh, Paramount won't, won't do it, but if they decide to do it, the project is done. It's ready there, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so uh, uh, it'll be awesome to to have that, that. That'd be so funny, and you don't tell any of us, and I'll go to the, yeah. go see the movie, Imagine. and that's the first thing that I see. I will walk out the theater and call you. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be amazing, man. It'll be amazing. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Uh, All right, make make Project Shadow canon. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting the campaign here. Yes. <laughs> All right. 
I think we got time for one more quick question. So let's go ahead and call up the last guest. Let me see here. All right. Uh, Eeny, meeny, miny. Go with Blue Country VA. Come on up. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Fellas, what's up? Hey, man. Nothing much. How are you? (laughs) Awesome to be here, guys. Uh, Felipe, I'm going to tell you, I love your your filmmaking, your animating, and just how you create such an awesome little short film. I mean, it's it's awesome and random. You give them shell that amazing voice and, you know, (laughs) character. And of course, Mike, honestly, I'm going to tell you, you I mean, you're my childhood, childhood, one of my childhood heroes. And I'm going to let you, I'm going to tell you, uh, I had no idea you were, you were even in the film until I like saw it. And, thank and you. Looked, like, it's awesome. But yeah, um, thank you. yeah this question's for uh, you so pretty much all three of you, but, it's, but, but it, it kind of correlates to what Bolt kind of said and everything. But uh, what I want to tell you, um, and I know, I know it's a long shot, but. Would you guys be able to make a Project Shadow 2? And Felipe, how would you make it or do it? And, uh, or, e- or even so, make an epilogue story of Sonic 3? And how would you do that for you know, our boy Shads? Good question. All right. yeah, good, good one, good one. Uh, yeah. If, if I would like to do it, of course I would. Of course. It, it would be amazing, you know. But yeah, I, it, it, was, it was really, uh, how can I say, challenging. To make the, uh, to make it to the end of Project Shadow, you know. Oh, uh, I'm sure. I, yeah, it, it was a funny. It was a, it was a funny ride, but I, as I mentioned it before, I was the only one uh, paying for everything and all this stuff. So it it, it is not the type of, of thing that I can do every year, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> because, no, no, it no, takes time, man. I get it, no, man. I get it. Yeah. it takes time, man. Yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know if I ever do uh, a Project Shadow sequel. I would like to uh, focus on the the story that happened bef- actually between when Shadow was set, was sent to the Earth and be, uh, before uh, Jared's execution because it, it wasn't clear in the in the short film, but there was some time passed the, uh, uh, between these event uh, events, you know. Uh, you can see that uh, Jared got, got bold. And, uh, people shaved his hair and all this stuff. Oh yeah. And I, I imagine that uh, after the events of Project Shadow, when he's getting to the Earth, uh, maybe the the gun found uh, the the capsule of Shadow, and they also imprisoned Jared, as the the original story goes, and made him train. Uh, shadow to become a weapon, and I, I believe that if I if I if I make a sequel of it, I'll probably uh, adapt this part of the story of Gerald training and making this uh, brainwash thing in Shadow to to make him become a weapon, and probably uh, to have the the uh, the story of the game, you know, of Shadow uh, two thousand two thousand five uh, adapted. It will probably be it, be it, you know. All right, then. Did I answer your question, there, Blue Country? Did, did I answer your question? <laughs> he doesn't like your answer. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> 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 no, I think he might be having the same issue as um as Ruby, perhaps. A oh, wise man on set. D- the the Discord, Discord moment. Where is Ruby too? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay hopefully felipe answered your question thoroughly yeah and if not well sorry <laughs> would it be down for that uh, would it be able to to watch that again oh, bro, you, 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 you you know where to reach me i'm already here i'm already there like <laughs> <laughs> that, that's without without even question like no you, you already know where to find me mike pollock wanna wanna make a, a quick join in the second project uh, we <laughs> well, negotiations would have to be held. So, <laughs> never true, say never, true. but we can't. You know, it's not a simple yes or no. There's, yeah. there, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> discussions that need yeah, to be had. A lot of yeah, legal work it up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> All right, yeah, those those are good questions. Thank you, everyone. 
for real, for real. Sure. Thank All you. Right. Well, I think that's about going to wrap it up for this Q and a, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come join us here at revolution and to talk about this amazing project. You guys put in so much great work and the project really speaks for itself in terms of the quality. It's incredible. Thank, thank you so, you. Much. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, thank you for um, having us. Thank yeah, you for having us on Discord, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys have any any last words you guys want to give, feel free. Oh, like I would just like to thank everyone to uh, uh, first you for you too for inviting us. You know, uh, for this it, it was really really fun. I wish we could we had more time to answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really good, good. But, but thank you very much for it and uh, thank you very much for everyone that that's watching it uh, make some questions about it if you want if you have any other questions uh, feel free to reach me out to the social media i will always there to answer all right and that's it thank you very much for enjoy project shadow yeah okay. um let you all. yeah like like felipe said it's the, it feels very very surreal to voice a character as big as this in a pseudo professional setting. Like it just feels like overall, like really professional. I, I, it is professional. I don't know what I'm saying. It, it, it's really cool that Felipe and this team trusted me with, you know, the lead role as shadow for a monumental project like this being able, like I've said before, it's been an honor working alongside a, um, a really talented cast of actors, you know, um, shout outs to Chari, who was the English voice actor for Gerald. He is phenomenal. Everyone go follow him. Um, Mike, of course, like I said before, it's been an honor working with you. Um, yeah, and Felipe, man, just keep on going. I really hope Paramount or a big studio hires you because and your team because you guys are unreal. You guys are just no, doing things so that I didn't even think was possible for a fan <laughs> film. Um, <laughs> And also uh, to everyone else, thank you for tuning in. The ultimate life form thanks you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, of course. By the way, thank you. Thanks for uh, going for trusting it. I I've already thank you uh, several times, but it's not. It's never enough. Uh, thank you for so much for trusting the project, uh, for applying to it, for working with us, and of course, Mike Pollock. You know, thank you so much for for it. Uh, I have already thanked you both of you several times, but. For me, it's never enough, you know, because uh, this project is a, is really a dream come true, uh, and you you made it happen, you know. Well, you and the, you. Uh, all the quests, the, all the the cast, you know. Thank you, thank you, Felipe. Thank you for for uh, having me and for keeping it professional and and uh, pleasurable. And uh, we'll discuss about future opportunities in the future. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, Goon, for being part of the cast with me. And yeah, um, thank you all for for watching and listening and being curious with questions. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Appreciate thank you so it. much. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I believe now I will turn it over to Leah to announce the theme for the next Cartoon Nights. Yep, there she is. Hello. <laughs> yes, um, we are we are ending January Cartoon Nights with Cartoon Network Night. Who is excited? We are going to be watching the different generations of cartoon from Cartoon Network specifically. So please come tune in this coming. Friday, we are going to be uh, watching just Cartoon Network shows. <laughs> um, but yeah, please please come join us. It's the, um, the pre-show starts at three thirty p.m. PT, um, six thirty p.m. ET, and then Cartoon Nights itself starts at four p.m. PT and seven p.m. ET. So please come join us for Cartoon Nights. All right. You heard it here first. Join for Cartoon Nights on Friday. And also our next panel will be Robot Night on Saturday, January 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, where we'll have Metal Sonic, Orbot, Cubot, Bell, and Omega for an all-robot-themed panel. What could go wrong? All right. Well, once again, thank you to our special guest from Project Shadow. We enjoyed your fan film so much, and we're glad to have you. You guys take care and have a great night, everyone. We'll see you later. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Goodbye.